Hi, I'm Michael Briggs, Principal Researcher in the Witch Electronics team, and this is part two of our tips on power saving with your television settings. In part one, I showed you how some simple adjustments can reduce the power consumption of these TVs by something in the region of 20%, but probably the most effective way to save power and money is with an ambient light sensor. These clever devices first started to appear on TVs three or four years ago, and ironically were initially designed as a picture enhancement tool. However, our lab test reveals that the sensors could have a secondary and arguably far more significant effect, the ability to slash power consumption. So, how do they work? Well, basically, if selected, an ambient light sensor will automatically adjust the brightness of the TV backlight according to how dark or light the room is. So turn off the lights and the TV automatically dims the backlight of the display, thus using less power. So if we select the light sensor on this LG, and we go to menu, picture, picture mode, on this model it's called intelligence sensor, and then dim the lights for the late night movies, say, this set dramatically reduces power consumption to around 40 watts. That's less power to run your full-size widescreen TV than it takes to power a light bulb. A lot of us also like to listen to digital radio on our TV, which, let's face it, can be a bit wasteful. A great big telly just to listen to the radio. With that in mind, a few leading brands have started to include screen blanking options. For instance, this Sony can reduce power from over 100 watts to a more acceptable 20 watts with the feature activated. And we do that through the options menu. We go through to power saving and select picture off. Standby power consumption is now lower than ever on TVs. However, across the country as a whole, AV equipment left in standby wastes 70 million pounds of electricity every year. Now, some manufacturers have added a quick start standby node. This normally allows a set to be turned off marginally quicker than from regular standby, but often uses considerably more power. With the quick start standby turned on, this Sony uses over 14 watts. We can see here, we go to quick start, turn it on, yes, enable it, and then turn to standby. And then you see the reading is still 14 watts. But with quick start turned off, this Sony actually registers just 0.2 watts, which is especially low. Of course, the best option is just to switch the set off. But then when is off not really off? That's when you've got a soft off button, just like this one. This is an electronic off button rather than a traditional mechanical button. Even when off, this set uses around 0.17 watts. If you truly want to switch your set off, the only choice may be to unplug it from the mains. For more information, take a look on our Setting Up Your TV section on the Witch website. We also provide guideline settings for every single TV we test.